Hello everyone, Miss Shork here, and I am here to read you guys a story. Um, the story is a little different than normally uh, something I've ever read before because it does involve a puppet type character. And so we're going to see how this goes tonight and hopefully I don't mess up too bad. Um, the story is written by Claire Evans and it's called The Croc and the Sock. When I first saw this book, I thought it was pretty hilarious and I thought you guys would really like to hear it too. Alright, here we go. The Croc and the Sock. See it? Croc woke one day to find a sock laid out upon the floor. Who owns this smelly thing? He growled. I found it outside my door. It was pongy, wet, and muddy, surrounded by huge flies. A nasty whiff made poor old Croc cough <coughs> and even sting his eyes. So angry Croc picked up the sock and stormed off on his way. I'll find the owner of this sock and I'll make that culprit pay. Mm. Seems pretty mad to me. Is this your sock? Yelled angry Croc as he met a small gray mouse. Twas you who left this rotten sock to stink outside my house. Little Mouse was really scared as the ghastly stench came near. Please, Mr. Croc, that's not my sock. You've got the wrong idea. She held her breath and grabbed a fan and used her perfume spray and blew the scent back at Croc, which made him run away. Ooh, it smelled that bad. So Croc charged until he found Flamingo having fun. Hey, you! Is this your sock? He gasped, and all he was breathless from his run. Poor Flamingo was offended. The smell made her feel sick. She splashed some water at the sock, which balanced on a stick. The water missed and soaked the croc, the smell still going strong. I'd never own a sock like that with such an awful pong. Mm, so it's not Flamingo's. Is this your sock? Roared Grumpy Croc to Nellie by the tree. <laughs> it really stinks, he squealed. Keep that thing away from me. The smell made Nellie dizzy and she tripped upon a rock, then fell down in a clumsy way towards the silly croc. <laughs> hmm. What happens when an elephant lands on a crocodile? Nellie fell onto a log where Mr. Croc was standing. Croc shot high into the air, unsure where he'd be landing. Ah! Help! Help me, please! Screamed Croc as he shot towards the ground. And doing all that they could, his friends all gathered round. Ooh, poor Croc. Poor Croc crashed down into a pile of dirty, smelly clothes. To his despair, the matching sock came landing on his nose. <gasps> Oops! Ooh, look at what the laundry basket says. Croc's washing. <gasps> now the question had been answered. To whom the sock belonged, and Barris Croc had been a fool. It was his sock all along. So Croc put on a party. I'm sorry for being so mean, and made a promise to all his friends. My clothes will be kept clean. And that's the end. I hope you guys liked our story, The Croc and the Sock by Claire Evans. I do want to challenge you guys to do something that I remember doing when I was in elementary school. So I would sneak into my dad's dresser and I would open up a drawer and I would get out one of his socks and I would take the sock 
and I would glue googly eyes to the front of it right here and I would use a red marker to mark right here and sometimes I'd even get pipe cleaner and make some hair and then I would have my own sock puppet. So I want you guys to try that tonight and I gotta see the pictures, please. Thanks for joining me. See you later.